Hi, I'm Dennis Cakebread. I'm with Cakebread Sellers. We're out, we're celebrating our 40th uh, harvest this year, so we're excited to be up in Vancouver talking with Erica at Everything Wine. Um, so when we started, uh, 1973, our first vintage, we made 157 cases of Chardonnay. So we've come a long way since then. What's fun for us is you know, we, we take great pride in doing this for, for 40 years. You know, Cake Bread's a family operation. Lots of people don't know that Cake Bread's actually the family name. I should digress for a moment and explain. You know, cake Bread is an old English name. It's a, basically it's a round loaf of dense bread uh, that they found back in 12th century England. And so hopefully that explains the, the name. You know, the English used to name people after what they lived next to or what they did. And so what they lived next to explains all your friends that are named uh, church or street or gates or wells. And then what they did is uh, explains all your friends that are named uh, Taylor or Smith or Shoemaker or um, um, Baker. So cake bread is, is they just, our guy must have just specialized in making this one bread. So. We start 1973, made 157 cases of Chardonnay in first vintage, and just loved it. So it turns out there's no thing in the world better than um, making wine. It's the most fun business to be in. Uh, my dad, uh, my parents started it, Jack and Boris Cake Bread. Um, my dad was an auto mechanic, uh, but had a love of wine, and uh, he'd, he'd grown up on a, on a ranch uh, farm in uh, Ammons. And so he decided he wanted to retire to a vineyard and started uh, buying 22 acres up where the winery is now um, and we started making wine. There's a couple of keys uh, to making fine wine. Uh, first is the, the best vineyards and getting the, those same vineyards year after year. So I'm, I'm proud to say that in uh, 1973 when we made our first Chardonnay, we still get those same grapes from that same vineyard 40 years later. Of course we've expanded and now uh, we've gone from 22 acres that we started with in, in 1973 uh, to where we own uh, 1,100 acres gross with about 560 acres planted. And we go from Carneros all the way up to Howe Mountain and a little bit uh, out in the Anderson Valley. We have a little pinot project out there. So the key is same vineyards year after year. The other part is the people, and certainly we've got a, a great crew uh, and longevity helps. And so uh, my brother Bruce and I uh, now run the winery. Um, our winemaker is Julianne Lax, and she's uh, been with us for 27 years. Our cellar master is Brian Lee, he's been with us for 26 years. Our resident chef is Brian Streeter, he's been with us for 25 years. That's a beautiful thing. Our vineyard manager is Toby Haltovich, he's only been with us for nine years, and so we always tell him, what do you know, you've only been here nine years. Um, so it's the, the, the key is the, the, the people and the land and uh, having passion for it. Bruce and I were chatting about it um, at the end of last year as we came up on our 40th anniversary year. And we decided that it feels like we've been doing this for about five years. And so we decided that either we have uh, early onset Alzheimer's, also known as CRS, can't remember stuff, or we just really love what we're doing. And so that, uh, we decided we, we love it. It feels real fresh to us, and that's, uh, that's what carries through. We make a number of different wines, and so we're showing today our, our uh, Sauvignon Blanc, our Chardonnay, Cabernet, and one of our nice reserve level Cabernets that Bench Land Select. We have a website, wkcred.com, that has a lot of information about uh, each individual wine, and uh, we love recipes, and so we've got a number of recipes on our website that you're welcome to, to, to view and use, hopefully. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me here today, Eric.